Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about We Have to Move On. And the title in the book is Lead On. And I begin with a passage from Joshua chapter 1, verse 5 to 9. This is right before the children of Israel are about to cross over the River Jordan and into the Promised Land. Joshua is now their leader. He's been appointed by God. He's been mentored by Moses. He learned all of the lessons he needed to learn while he was wandering in the desert with all the other children of Israel. He learned how to be a brilliant warrior. He learned how to strategize. He learned by watching Moses, and Moses taught him well. But Moses is gone now. It's all up to Joshua and Caleb. They are the only two people remaining from their generation and the younger generation is looking toward them to see how they're going to handle what lays ahead of them. Joshua learned his lessons well, as I said, as he wandered through the desert. Forty years is a long time to learn how to do things the right way. God raised him up to be a mighty warrior and he earned his stripes. The younger generation of Israelites looked up to him and he and Caleb were the last of their generation. But there was nothing left for him to do but to take that first step into the River Jordan and to trust that God would lead him and all the people that were under his charge through to the promised land. There comes a time when you must step forward and past your past. You've received counsel, you've received prayer, you've forgiven all those you were called to forgive and you've asked for forgiveness and you've done restitution as far as you are able. You've made amends and you have let go of all the guilt. You've read self-help books and you've listened to teaching tapes, you've journaled, you've studied, you've cried, you've laughed, you've exalted, you've crawled, and you've stormed, you've vented, and you've rehashed it all. And now is the time to stop rehashing. Now is the time to stop camping on the other side of the River Jordan, it's time, yeah, it's time for you to head over to the Promised Land. Time to come out of the wilderness. Yes, there will be giants in your new home. You've gotten to know your desert place really well, and there's almost a feeling of nostalgia when you think back about the desert experience. After all, you probably know every stone along the way. You're not quite sure of who you'll be on the other side, but remember this truth. You're no longer a slave to your past. Egypt is long gone. You're no longer a slave to your emotions, and you're no longer a slave to the enemy. You are a bond slave to Jesus Christ. So simply say, lead on, take a deep breath, and take those first steps into the River Jordan and keep going into your promised land and trust him that your identity will be found in being his child. Your identity should never be wrapped around the place where you happen to be at. If you're hearing him call you, hey, get going. I'll see you tomorrow.